hello crypto fam thanks for tuning back to my channel in today's video we will be discussing what is touch auction and how you can sell your nfts on OpenSea as touch auction now there are two ways of selling your nfts via an auction first is english auction where you sell the nft to the highest bidder most people are generally familiar with this kind of auction second is touch auction here nfts are sold with declining prices in an auction until someone purchases it so in today's video we will discuss how does touch auction works and how to set up your nfts to sell as touch auction in OpenSea. now one more important thing that i want to discuss with you all is that touch auction or auctions in general does not work currently for polygon chain on OpenSea. so you can only sell nfts at a fixed price right now for polygon nfts on OpenSea. so in nutshell auctions currently work only for ethereum nfts now one more thing to note here is if you try to sell multiple copies of an nft or i wouldn't call it an nft then rather an item anyway so if you sell multiple copies of an item on OpenSea, then you cannot set up an auction for it let me show you why using an OpenSea article now i am on this OpenSea article which says i have set up auctions before why can't i do it with this nft and they have written it as erc1155 so we don't currently support auctions for erc1155 nfts actually this is not true right now they do support it for erc1155 nfts but only if you are selling a single copy of an nft okay if you try to sell multiple copies for same nft as given in this example then you can basically not set up an auction so you can see erc1155 nfts are semi-fungible items which allows for more than one owner of the same token id now the meaning of semi-fungible here is that the ERC-1155 standard gives you flexibility to have both non-fungible tokens or NFTs or fungible tokens. So basically in nutshell this means you can sell multiple copies of some token or single copy of some token with ERC-1155. So that's the reason OpenSea does not allow NFTs with multiple copies to be sold as auction. Now moving on, as picture below, you will notice that there are multiple owners and listing present on the same item page you can see there are multiple listings for this same nft and if you see here clearly it is written 47 owners for the same nft so OpenSea currently does not support auctions for this kind of nft so if you are an owner of an erc721 nft now erc721 is also another standard to create nfts so you will see an option to set up an auction and also for ERC1155 NFTs as well which you create via the OpenSea UI. However, you will only get an option to set up an auction when you are only selling single copy of that ERC1155 token. Now moving on, there are two ways you can sell your NFT as auction on OpenSea. So you can do it either via their website or you can also use their JavaScript SDK. In this video, we will use OpenSea's website to create touch auction. However, in our upcoming videos, we will also see how to sell NFTs as auction using OpenSea's JavaScript SDK. So now let us create a new listing on OpenSea and then we will try to put this NFT up for a touch auction. So you have to go to OpenSea.io and you have to click on this create tab and then let me select the image for my NFT and name will be set so if you don't know what these nfts i have created a bunch of these nfts and in my last video where i bulk uploaded it not last video it's a few videos back so i'll give you the link into the description if you want to check out my collection of mental broad sets and it is automatically selecting a collection okay so now the supply is actually grayed out and i cannot edit it if you observe it so the way you can update the supply to any other number greater than one is you need to go to this url and you have to type question mark enable underscore supply equals true and press enter now you can see this supply tab it's unlocked i can give here three four or anything so i just want to keep it one right now because i want to show you how auction works let me select the image again Okay, I'm not adding any properties, levels, and I'm just going to create the item right now. Let's select the captcha. 
okay our listing got created now let's put this up for selling okay so we have to select now timed auction and instead of this select sell to highest bidder we are going to select this option sell with declining price now we can set a starting price and we can also set a duration and an ending price so basically let's say our bid starts at 2 ETH okay and at the end of 3 days or you can actually select any time that you want currently it is 5 to 8 but let's just say I select the ending date as 12 okay okay now I have selected 22 days and I say from 2 it should become 0.5 ETH so gradually this price of 2 ETH is going to decrease slowly in the span of this 22 days and ultimately at the end of 22nd day the price of this NFT will automatically be 0.5 until someone actually purchases it so if it gets purchased at any point till the price is declining then it will be sold out okay so let me click on complete listing let's initialize the wallet uh, to set up the auction we will actually need some gas fees which i do not have currently right now in my ethereum wallet so i am going to reject it but this is how basically you can set up an auction and you can put a nft up for selling for a specific amount which decreases over time so that is it for this video folks this is how touch auctions work this is how you can put them up for a timed option and you can specify a price from where it actually starts declining and you can also specify the duration and an ending price so hope you all liked the video if you did please subscribe to my channel like this video and if you have any doubts please comment below and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye